it's soft. <laughs> She's soft. So soft. She's so soft to the touch. I'm Jeff, and today we're reviewing a beer from El Segundo Brewing Company. This is called Cerveza Fresca. This is a juicy IPA, probably hazy, with passion fruit and maracuya. It is 7.3%, and to be honest with you, I don't know what maracuya is. Uh, we looked it up, it sounds like it's kind of like a hybrid of passion fruit, which there's already passion fruit in there. And to be honest with you, when I was at Mr. K's, shout out Mr. K's, Mr. K's, Mr. K's, I love going to Mr. K's. Um, oh, you didn't tell me what the song was for. That's fine. So, to be honest with you, I've seen this can design all over social media. Um, El Segundo is known for making some amazing beers. We live in the area. And uh, when I stopped by Mr. K's, I saw this and I was like, holy crap. They actually had a couple variants of it. Uh, God, I can't remember what the other one was, but to be honest with you, as soon as I see passion fruit, I'm game on. I love passion fruit, and apparently maracuya, or whatever the hell it is, is going to taste very similar. And uh, a lot of my friends, especially if you're watching this, you're probably one of them, uh, a lot of my friends on social media told me that this is the go-to. So, I'm excited to try it. Mia, you ready? I picked it, so yeah, let's do it. All right, let's, let's have, have some, some beer. beer. beer is poured, it's time for us to go in for the aroma. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, you're definitely getting that passion fruit on the nose. Yeah, it's soft, it's sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I, I don't get that like funky, <laughs> I know we've had this conversation We've had this before. BO conversation. Yeah, before. I haven't, I haven't, I'm not getting like the BO passion fruit uh, aroma off no. this. I'm getting more sweet yeah. fruit. Uh, it's still passion fruit though, um, but I'm also getting a little bit of like melon, like uh, cantaloupe. It's like undercut with something else. Yeah, it's like cantaloupe or something. It's it's Maybe very it's, it's very soft but very sweet at the same time. Yeah, it's uh it's pleasant. Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, it's and and the nice thing is it's not super like overpowering. It it does come out of the glass a little bit. It gets me very excited. It just uh, it's it's not just like a nostril tease. No, no. <laughs> it's not a nostril the, tease. You the, know. the color is nice. Yeah, you know what? I, in, in all honesty, uh, I thought it was gonna pour out a little lighter. Uh, then, I, I don't know, man. You thought look, it was gonna be Looking easy. at this can, guys, I don't know. Like, we were talking about it, and apparently this is like an horchata container. That's what's in the picture. Yeah, that agua fresca um, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I didn't know what to make of it, but it just, the yellow reminds me of mustard. <laughs> so I was just like, whatever. Like, <laughs> all right, cool. Let's we're going do it. to the deli. Yeah, the let, let's go to the deli. But when this poured out, I was expecting it to be a lot lighter. I guess I was thinking a mustardy yellow, like this light yellow. Oh, you thought it was and, a... And it's not, but I'm not super disappointed because the aroma is pretty killer, so. No, I mean, the, the color is, I mean, it's, it's foggy. No, it's, it's nice and hazy. I mean, yeah. this is basically what I'm shooting it. for yeah. with my uh, hazy pails. So. Yeah, sure. All right, let's dig in. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Wow, that's that's very nice. Whoa, that's soft. <laughs> mm. She's soft. So soft. She's so soft to the touch. Mm. Yeah. 
It's like velvet on your tongue, guys. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Oh. Just kind of let it settle for a second, and you're getting that you velvet even, on the back end. You don't even get a chance to let it, like, sit on your palate for very long. It's like a... You're getting Like it. a bullet train down your throat, man. But it's just so good That's all the way wonderful. down. Wow. Do you get that melon when you, like, rest? Mm-hmm. It's that cantaloupe that I was talking about. I feel like I get more cantaloupe than passion fruit, but maybe that's the maracuya. Maybe it's the prima to the passion fruit. Because <laughs> we don't know what it is, but it's probably the cousin. It's in the family, you know? Oh man, yeah, that's that's really, it's mm. juicy IPA there and I'll like on the yeah. can. That's, that's really uh, nice. On the bitterness scale, this is super stupid low. Yeah, um, it's not affecting you really at all. I don't even think they put the IBUs on here. I would not be surprised if they didn't. Mm. I nope. mean, how they come? Don't. It's it doesn't matter cuz no. you're not tasting it. You're no. not you're not like Ugh, at all about this. This is juice bomb tastic. Mm. And uh, for those of you who are watching on Instagram that suggested that we do this review, uh, well on you, sirs and, and ladies. Yeah. Uh, this is, wow. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, to be honest, there's not much we can say other than smooth, fruity, tropical, delicious, fucking drink it. Uh, so, All those bullet points. Yeah, so, so let's just get into scoring aroma. Uh, we talked about aroma. I feel like it was very inviting, uh, yeah. super exciting. Uh, it didn't necessarily jump out of the glass, but at the same time, it was like a good kind of reserve. I'm gonna give it a nine, personally. Uh, wasn't perfect, but still definitely really excited about this beer. How about you, Mia? Yeah, same. Nine, I'm, I mean, there's room for improvement. because Especially the flavor, I'm just like, shit, man. Get that on the aroma, Yeah. game over. Yeah, so. You're getting the passion fruit. You're getting that softness when you smell it. And anything that is a trailer to the to the feature film, I'm here for it. So and that's what it does. That's what yeah. It, does. it definitely does. So, nice. Awesome. So when it comes to flavor, how would you score it? Is there is there anything else they could do better? I'll give it a nine point five. <laughs> And a half. And a half. Uh, maybe 9.75 because maybe they could do something with it. I don't know, but it's pretty darn near perfect for me. It's it's lovely. I'm I'm really I'm really big in this. It's pillowy. It's it's smooth. It has those that passion fruit and the cousin that it's listing. So it's just nice. It's just so nice. Yeah. What do you think? Well, guys, uh, this is a type of beer where it really comes down to what kind of beer person you are. If you are a haze bro, you'll love this beer. If you are a hophead, you probably aren't going to love this beer. There's not a lot of bitterness in this. It's very, very mellow. Um, but I mean, if I'm going to if I'm going to score this based on what this beer is and what it tastes like, I got to give it a ten. I know that sounds super, super normal, like I always give high scores for beers, but to be honest with you guys, I'm reviewing beers that you all recommended to me. You told me these beers are awesome, and this beer is fucking awesome. Um, I would say that if I was reaching for a, a, uh, a more hoppy beer, a more bitter beer, this isn't the way I want to go, but to be honest with you, I mean, for what it is, it literally calls itself a juicy IPA. Like, we have that whole argument of New England, Northeastern, hazy, juicy. It's all the same shit, really, at the end of the day. All right, so let's move on. Yeah. Would we ever buy this again? Yes, yes, and yes. And, uh, See. yeah. Uh, tomorrow I got a lot of hunting to do for beer because I found a couple beers today yeah. that I want to like mass purchase uh, 
bad idea because I leave in two weeks for Bali, but a uh, good idea because I like beer and I like good beer and there's a lot of good beer out right now. Uh, El Segundo is definitely on the list, so well on you guys. Alright guys, so we're done reviewing this beer. If you like this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so it notifies you when Jeff is, is back on your feed, when he has a new video with a friend, um, and tell your friends. Follow his Instagram page. Do all the things that millennials do. Okay? <laughs> do that. Just do that. Go on social meds. Do all of it. Because the more that you do that, the more that he can review different types of beers, go to different breweries, and it just helps them out. And then it helps me out because here I am trying new things and it's fantastic. So, all right, without further ado, I'm Mia. I'm Jeff. And we'll see you next time on Let's, Let's Have Some, some beer. beer. Cheers. Cheers.